Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so good evening, everyone. Uh, does anybody know who ran alive? You ran alive. So <laughs> I was just thinking about this today. So welcome once again. Uh, I'm Yuran, and we are live from Bucharest, Romania. Uh, welcome to my 133rd broadcast. Uh, today is a very special guest, a good old friend, a schoolmate, and a very, very curious mind in any kind of topic you can throw at him. That's Ashwin Fonseca. So, uh, Ashwin, welcome on the call. Thanks, Joran. Happy to be here. Actually, really excited. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is my my first first sort of broadcast of this sort. All right. uh, I think I am I am more used to. Uh, you know, interacting with people uh, at a restaurant or at at at, at a gym con or something like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, I totally uh, know over that. a coffee or a couple of drinks or something like that. Well, so uh, it is. Mm -hmm. This is a um, yeah. This is a new forum. Yeah, but so, um, well, the thing is that I have enjoyed over the years the conversations with you that we had at the gym con over the pahadi chicken, as we say. Now, I know we need to <laughs> avoid these things because not everybody knows what that is. But, you know, between you and me, like I said, we're going to keep it a very casual kind of a conversation, just the way I like my other broadcasts as well. So I said, I think this would be a fantastic weekly thing or a bi-weekly thing, depending on how you want to take it. Um, or twice a month or once a month, as you just decide and come on call. Really? And, we take a, <laughs> and we take a particular topic and we just okay. talk about it. Also, uh, also, Ashwin, you should know, and people that are out there, we have the broadcast, we have the chat that's live. Feel free to write in those questions or anything that you would like to say. We need, uh, Ashwin, I must say, you have a great welcome right now. We have Nihal that has written in asking about why we can't see you. We have Wayne saying, hi, guys. Uh, <laughs> Nihal says, OBS, my friend. Well, Nihal, he doesn't want to be seen, as I can say. But hey, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a. <laughs> if you want to know, I've got a. I've got a really slow connection. Uh, I'm actually using our uh, Reliance Geo dongle, uh, <laughs> and we know we know how reliable that can be in terms of bandwidth, right? So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So actually, uh, this, yeah. sorry. No, go ahead. Yeah, I was told at the interview. So don't butt in when the other guy is talking. Like, wait, let him finish. But as I know, Ashwin, Ashwin just loves to give that information, pour that information out. So I want to be there as well and kind of uh, moderate the way we talk to uh, the, the way the conversation goes. Ashwin, before we get into the conversation today, tell us a little bit about you. I mean, there's so much that you've written. Um, Give us about your interests. I see that it's from music to Formula One, neuroscience, aviation. Wow, this is like a wide range. So give us in a gist and a few, in a few sentences if you can tell us about yourself. Sure. So, um, well, um, since we've got a lot of Stanislides there, big shout out to all the Stanislides. Um, you know, that's that's uh, my alma mater and, and for most of us out here as well. Um, and that's where I met Yoran, actually. Um, that's me. And we've kind of, uh, I think, what we know each other since like the, maybe the fourth standard or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, we go way back. It was uh, way back. Uh, the earliest, the earliest memory I have of you is uh, probably at a, at a at a soccer game or football game, as mm -hmm. we used to call it. All right. Um, and um, yeah, that's that's where it starts. But uh, me, well, about me, what do I say? Um, I. Um, I, like you said, uh, I, I think uh, curiosity is something that is uh, is innate in me. I love learning. Uh, I love learning about new things, um, and um, I think I'm generally very fascinated uh, with uh, with things around me and you know the way the world works. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, a lot of, uh, like I said, a lot of varied interests. Um, so I don't claim to be uh, an expert uh, <laughs> in <laughs> any of them, but uh, that's fine. I, think uh, that's cool. I just kind of I dabble into them and uh, try and learn as much as possible, go as deep as possible. Uh, and um, you know, sometimes uh, uh, you know, either. I may lose interest or or whatever, and then uh, you know move to something else. So mm -hmm, a, a mm -hmm. few mentions, yeah. I love I love music. Very passionate about music. Um, uh, you know, love, love playing the guitar, and oh. um, you're so, an excellent uh, entertainer. I must say that not only just <laughs> plays the guitar, he plays the guitar excellent. And another one to join him there is Douglas. I'm hoping to have him soon. Douglas Minskita, I know you're listening in. Get ready, sir, with your books. <laughs> so we're gonna have you as well. And you sing pretty awesome. You guys sing really good. So 
Thank you. Amazing. So besides the guitar, Ashwin, do you have any other interests uh, as hobbies or such? Or, I mean, there's a lot that you've written. So hobbies. Uh, that stand hmm. out or something like that. Well, if you go back to the, you know, uh, the, the the technical or or the original hobbies that were there, I would probably say, um, um, I would have to say maybe aero modeling uh, to a certain extent. So uh, I love mean? planes and mm -hmm. aviation. Okay. So whether Wait, it is uh, you building. Made, yeah, hadn't you made like a sketch of the F-16 interior, or was it another aircraft? <laughs> Oh no, you're making like crazy mistakes with aviation and uh, I don't want to get angry with you on this uh, Oh my on this god, call of yours, <laughs> he's going to send the call already. You know, most most of the guys on the call would know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, obviously um, recently, uh, you know, times have changed, um, uh, certain hobbies uh, you can uh, focus on, certain hobbies mm -hmm. sort of, you know, they, they die out a little, but it, it's kind of, I, I try to stay in touch with it, uh, like... Um, at this point in time, um, you know, with the lockdown, it's um, it gives me an opportunity to probably maybe uh, touch the guitar a little bit more, uh, you know, with work and things like that, uh, regular rhythms of the day, uh -huh. you don't get an opportunity to really pick up that guitar. But now since uh, there's a lockdown, um, yeah, that's, so, that's, so that's good. And, uh, I, I understand um, also your everyday job, Ashwin, got, has got to do as a problem solver, as I understand, in Accenture, right? Um, <laughs> so this is like this I is love, I mean, for this, right? <laughs> so well, so so technically, uh, I'm um, I'm part of our applied intelligence teams in Accenture, uh -huh. and um, I basically am a I'm a project manager out there, and um, I kind of take care of um, not just our. I mean, a few client-facing projects that I did earlier on, but uh, over the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, move to managing a few of our uh, company programs. And um, I don't know, but many of the reasons why, um, you know, people tell me that they um, they like to have me on my team is because uh, I, I kind of, I love, uh, you know, just, I, I'm just attracted towards problems that are, uh, that are uh, insolvable of sorts, if I may use that word. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, you need to find some way it's either yeah, nobody knows a way, or it's too complex, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and that really excites me uh, because uh, you know that's very similar to learning, right? In a way, um, when you look at a problem, you've got to to understand it. Uh, you, you 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 may have seen it before, but there's definitely a lot to learn from every problem because every problem is unique. So if you have that open mind, it's good, and I've kind of been successful so far. So uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's so the. So you're not only being that's successful at work. It. Yeah, I, I get you. Basically, <laughs> that's it. But it's it's what you bring with you, and that's absolutely awesome. So as you join on the call, and you will see, I'm hoping even in future calls, as long as Ashton doesn't get upset with me already because of, of the thing that I mentioned of the planes before, got him, got him upset already. <laughs> so you will see the kind of research or the kind of interest that he has in curiosity. And to start off with Ashwin and with me, as I would call it, like an evening chat, like a kind of meetup at the Bandra Gymkhana, right? So we're talking today, <laughs> we, we decided to come to go on with the topic uh, of critical thinking. So Ashwin, um, how, how, why did you even think about this topic of, of starting off uh, with our broadcast? Um, okay, so before I start, just a quick reminder, Yuran, yeah. do let me know uh, if there are any questions, the comments. For yeah. some reason, I don't, I'm not able to see it, and that probably tells me I'm not. It, it shows that I'm not very, very, very competent with uh, Facebook Online. Used to uh, doing it on my mobile, and I'm. So anyway, just read the comments if there's Fantastic. any questions that or that are, that someone are, wants to know about it. <laughs> just shout that out, yeah. okay? <laughs> there are already a lot of comments, and you will get to see them. But currently, they are all like wanting to hear you. They're all eager to hear what you have to say regarding the topic, and everybody's like, hurry up, get to the topic already. Everybody knows Ashwin, like, okay, blah, 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 he's a guitarist. Okay. Like <laughs> so once the questions all start right. coming in, as I'm the bad butter in between, like I'm coming and butting you all the time, so that's exactly what I'll do. And uh, Don't if worry. an important question, I'll take it up. So go ahead, Ashwin, no problem. I have you there. Well, I think, um, so if, if the reason why this topic was just suddenly on the top of my head uh, over the past weeks is because uh, we are, so first of all, I think everyone globally is going through a very, very difficult, unnerving um, 
volatile, kind of uncertain times, mm -hmm. and um, it is, I think, becoming, or at least I, I kind of, I feel that way through my experiences that, uh, you know, people, you know, sometimes including myself, um, finding it very difficult to really discern what's happening, what's going on, um, you know, you could, the you could call it, and with the lockdown yeah, and, okay, the, absolutely. You could, you could just talk. Changes, yeah. yeah, I could start off with the basic thing of what are the truths and what are the facts uh, of of any sort of anything that you hear. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that itself, I think, can uh, we we can probably do a couple of sessions on that. But I think um, at a more more fundamental level is um, how do what whatever I hear. Uh, how how do I make sense of that? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 how do I how do I really figure out whether um, I have um, understood it? And then accordingly, um, you know, I may make decisions on 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 that. I may form an opinion, which is a which is a powerful thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I I I I kind of sense that it is important for people to really think about these things a lot more. And um, and that's why I think critical thinking uh, is uh, is what I said we should probably maybe talk about. Now, if you ask me, um, I <laughs> I think that, I don't know whether it's a, maybe a slight misnomer, but I would say that all all thinking should be looked at in a rational way and in a way it should be critical. You 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 should uh, um, mm -hmm. always make sure that. You weigh uh, the facts um, and uh, not just uh, keep on thinking about something which uh, you know may be untrue or doesn't have any facts in it, because that then becomes that that that's almost bordering of uh, you know like a daydream of sorts, or right, right. or you could be um, you know maybe some, sometimes when we when we when we think. Uh, when we reminisce, right? The goal of that is to get that old nostalgia feeling. Um, it's not. It's not to really uh, make a critical decision. Um, so that that the, the uh, out, and critical thinking, uh, in that sense, uh, may not necessarily give you that great good feeling. So sometimes people can get a little confused and feel that. When I'm thinking, and as long as I'm feeling good about the whole process, then I'm on the right track. So what you're trying to say is people tend not to go into a deeper research about a certain thing because probably they don't want to know the facts. Or, or are they yeah. lazy? Or is there well, just too much information and they think, okay, we have all the information coming in, so why the hell to take the trouble? So it could be all of that. It could be all of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, you need to understand that in certain cases, um, you, you, you need to think, you need to reminisce. Definitely, uh, you, you need, need to, to catch sorry. up. You need to, um, uh, you know, feel good about, uh, you know, be nostalgic and stuff like that. But at some times, mm -hmm. you have to be rational about your thoughts. Uh, in trying to trying to achieve a goal, if you're if you're making a a, a, a critical decision, right. say it has to do with yourself or it has to do with other people, uh, and uh, or you need to form a uh, form an opinion about someone, which is uh, mm -hmm. or something, okay. um, then it's important to actually look at it critically and not just go by um, you know feelings about it, right? Right. Uh, so if over it, here, so, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm just stopping you here because yeah, yeah. I have no, go ahead. asking in, is critical thinking actually rational thinking or is it just given a different word? Well, you need to be, you need to be rational, uh, you know, if you're, if, if we're looking at, uh, at thinking in a critical way because you've got to, you've, the, the first thing that you've got to do and it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's not, not easy for, uh, for everyone to do, uh, and and I myself sometimes struggle with it, uh, is to keep the emotion aside um, when you're when you're assessing the facts or when you're assessing the data. Um, keep the emotions so, aside. Okay. Yeah, you have to you have to keep those. Ask yourself first of all, uh, and and that's something uh, you don't you don't have to critically think about every single thing. You'd probably uh, uh, you know just burn yourself out. Right, Everything right. doesn't need critical thinking, 
but on on matters that have long term implications mm-hmm. uh, to you or your family or to yourself uh, or to your friends maybe you you do need to then think about it uh, right. critically i have i have uh, some weird comments coming in so nial is saying the oh, purpose one. of thinking is to stop thinking nial continues <laughs> to say but not the same with drinking the purpose of drinking is to continue drinking so nial do share with us which is your poison what is that alcohol that you love to drink don't tell me it's water right um when le- so before i get into another a uh, critical question that Wayne is asking uh, Simona Simone Patrick asked here I have a question how do you solve a problem like Maria how do you catch a cloud and pin it down <laughs> so if you have any answers to that or to Simone just let me know I think I I you I would need to sing the the next two lines of that song if <laughs> if uh, if that's that's Simone typing in there yeah. uh, so Wayne is asking here what about analytical thinking Oh, I don't know Wayne if that was what you're yep. trying to ask Ashon let me know because you just put two words so I just wanted to know what exactly you want to know about analytical analytical thinking otherwise Ashwin uh, you can continue as you were talking about it Yeah um So what what I found um, so as a uh, sorry yeah. so just just to get things back sorry so you were talking about the fact that everybody does not everybody needs to think about everything critically right so you need to think about things that are the most important to you and what it matters to your family the most so i suppose ashun that would probably kind of depend for each one which topic or which kind of subject is actually that he wants to go deep into right so maybe let's let's step back a bit and just let's talk about thinking first of all and i think one of the the most uh, useful frameworks that i found mm-hmm. um is uh, is by a by a nobel laureate called daniel kahneman mm-hmm. and he wrote a very very famous book called thinking fast and slow and um if you if you guys ever get the the chance to read that book read it it's a it's a fantastic book mm-hmm. uh i'm sure most people have kind of read read the book uh, people have probably joined the chat but mm-hmm. um what what he's trying to say and i'm going to i'm going to you know uh, generalize it or or uh, you, you know just just cover it very very uh, briefly um is that there are these two two stages or two types of thinking right one is what you would uh call um maybe your intuition or your gut feel okay that's okay. that's the thinking that happens really fast right right okay in a split second so, exactly a, absolutely a, 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 something like that right so so if you're listening to a song and you kind of you and you, you you may enjoy a certain kind of combination of notes and a certain melody mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. you don't you don't sit there and analyze that uh, you can do that later on definitely but at that moment in time it, you know you 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 get a response you you make a you make a, a decision whether this is a good or a bad song according to you so that's a that's a very quick uh rea- a quick decision that you made so you've thought about this really fast right uh let's look at something like maybe playing a sport uh if you are say you're playing tennis or badminton okay. or football or whatever okay. you got to track that ball right mm-hmm. if someone if if i throw the ball at you 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 you, you got to essentially catch it or hit it but you got to make contact with that ball okay. now just just think about this right uh if 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 i if i stop for a moment and just just look at what's going on here uh there's a ball coming towards you okay it is it's not coming at you in a straight line Okay. it's it's going to be probably trajectory. coming at you at a at a certain arc in a certain right. way right okay yeah you you have got to figure out how that ball's moving you've mm. got to then project where that ball you you think that ball is going to land in right. relation to where you are okay. and then move yourself and and then catch the ball or hit the ball or whatever now there these are some fairly complicated things that you're doing but Are, subconsciously you know the brain is already doing that the brain is already doing that exactly right, exactly right. so mm-hmm. your <laughs> you know in a way think about this right the if you if you if you want to analyze this uh in detail you've got to look at all of these factors and you probably need to know differential equations to be able to calculate <laughs> everything okay but does your mind i mean just think about it does that lionel messi or or uh, you know uh, your favorite footballer uh franz beckenbauer for me uh <laughs> really old guy uh you know do they are they solving differential equations in the head when they kick the ball 
No, they're not, right? Um, so that that is fast thinking. That is quick thinking. It's your intuition. It's something that, that you have learned. Now, how you learn that is a different topic, and we can get into that some other time. Okay. But that is fast thinking. Right. Um, right. Whereas if... The, the second type of thinking, which is uh, the more rational, the more uh, detail-oriented, if I may, where mm -hmm. you actually got to you got to think about what are the factors involved, right? You've got to uh, you've got to you got to slow things down and, and look look at the components. Um, so that is so-called the maybe the you could call it the slow aspect of thinking. So you know, relating it to the book again, thinking fast and slow. Okay, so this um, is where the analytical part maybe comes in into yes, handy, absolutely. the more where you need to yeah. sit down, research, look into, calculate, press the right yeah. buttons, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, I mean, think about, so, so this is something that probably which uh, I think uh, uh, a few people, like I know Nihal will relate to this, right? So if you're hiring someone, you don't just... Uh, with, without reading his or her resume and asking questions, would you just hire them just because uh, they made you feel good or you like their face or something like that? Uh, I'm sure that's not going to be a very profitable decision in the long term uh, for your company or your team, right? Uh, you have, you've got to put the time to really figure out, okay, why should we hire them? And you look at a range of possibilities. So I think coming to what Wayne was saying, you've got to analyze that situation. You've got to, you've got to decide what factors you're going to take right. into account. Right. Uh, it may not be the same for everything, but the bottom line is mm -hmm. that it takes time. It it you you've got to look at a lot more data. Uh, the brain doesn't like to uh, get you know of juggle place. all of that data. No, I mean mm -hmm. it's it's boring. I mean think about it. Give me a uh, Excel sheet of like some a million numbers there. I mean, does that? Make you feel really good or whatever, uh, you know. I mean, yeah. not not really for most people, right? right. So people, uh, the brain doesn't want to want really to do enjoy that, I suppose. <laughs> but, yeah, but that, but their 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 reason is very different, right? Uh, so you, you you don't get some great joy by just looking at that number. You get the great joy maybe by juggling those numbers around or or, or trying to find some insight I'm not from really those sure numbers. For right? me, but yeah, there are people that would really <laughs> definitely uh, would enjoy that. Yeah, or, or if, if uh, you need to decide uh, who's right or wrong and you hear both sides of the argument, maybe there are, each of them have given you like 30 points each mm -hmm. and now you got to sit and analyze 60 points and figure out, you know, which one's right, which one's wrong, right. Yeah. weigh them, you know, uh, it, it's not something you do, you do do by gut feel and, and the brain gets overwhelmed basically with it. So, so that's why you here. default to that, right. to that gut feel sometimes. Okay. And that's where critical thinking comes in, and that's why it, mm -hmm. it's important. It's it's it it may not be a natural thing for uh, may you know human beings, but probably uh, evolve later on where you know we realize that, and then again with the with the development of the of the higher faculties of our uh, of our brain uh, to to really sit and develop this this capacity and 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 also cool. in a way the capability cool. to 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 mm -hmm. think about it so that's why it's a learned skill it's a learning skill it so it actually, um, yeah. just to pause you there just to hold yeah. you there uh, while we were talking about the brain takes an effort to think about it remember we spoke about also emotions and you were saying do emotions get involved? Do we involve emotions in this? So Camellia is asking, and but actually, if the facts are affecting you, you have to take into account the emotions, right? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> uh, well, you do, but when you are analyzing that situation, mm -hmm. and if those facts are going to affect you, mm -hmm. uh, and if you're not going to be able to, at that point in time, to keep your emotions to the side for a moment and just look at it rationally. Uh, come to a conclusion and decision, and then decide what you want to do. There is no, again, there's no right or or wrong here. But uh, if you bring emotions into it, then you're 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 mixing it up completely, and you're right. you're going to cloud <clears throat> not your end judgment, but you're going to cloud the process that you've you've taken to come to that conclusion. So if if uh, uh, I get really angry with someone, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I I, I want to probably give them a sock on their face, um, and and, and <laughs> yeah, punch, yeah, whatever, <laughs> uh -huh. and 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 they are they are they are telling me something at that point in time, which is which is important and probably explaining why uh, the situation a little bit more that uh, that I need to look at. Uh, if I am just going to give in to my emotions, then I, you know, I'm just going to like you know punch that guy completely yeah. out and not listen to True. his or her side okay. of the story. So, uh, so, thanks. Ashwin, thanks so much. don't don't 
don't i just want to just yeah. end with one very okay. important point i think people make uh, they uh, you you are not supposed to stifle your emotions that's the worst thing i mean that goes at the other extreme completely uh, you you've got to be able to as they say the word control comes in here right. is temporarily for that moment you know keep it aside look at the facts look at what's happened look mm -hmm. at it rationally whatever the situation is okay come to a conclusion about it and then try to understand exactly you know uh, is there and in at that point in time maybe you you may probably realize where your emotional response or why you feel that way mm -hmm. um, and and that it, it could help there but you take it later on and then I'm by all means you know mix it together and come up with a with a decision to you know in a way to each his own over there but if you are going to be angry and then mm -hmm. want, want to want to logically reason it's kind of not going to happen okay okay thanks for that ashwin uh, so kami i hope uh, ashwin has uh, helped you answer that but guys also listen up that just because there's a question in there does not necessarily mean it's just for ashwin <laughs> uh probably even i can answer it which i doubt but all you people out there that are, that are listening into today's broadcast with ashwin on critical thinking can definitely put in your opinion like i've always said uh, right from the beginning of my broadcasts we are here to learn from one another right everybody knows something that you don't know so just have that tolerance and uh, obviously you don't have to agree to what each one has to say but uh, just be tolerant and uh, respect that and listen to what there's something i'm sure each of us can learn from uh, from each other so definitely do put in your contributions and let's try to understand this together so ashwin i have ness uh, that has written and why do you think organizations have taken to this concept they have an incorporated interview questions around this i, I believe she's your friend uh, ness b uh, yeah. she has asked the question yeah I mean, of course, um, if you don't have a, if you don't have a, if you, you don't have an answer uh, immediately, you can answer it later or. Uh, no, no. Could you could you rephrase answer. that again, Your Honor, by any yeah, chance? Definitely. Could you just leave that yeah, yeah, yeah. So she says, why do you think organizations have taken to this concept? I suppose this concept of critical thinking and incorporated mm -hmm. that, incorporated that in interviews mm -hmm. and asking questions to candidates about it. Um, oh, okay. If, uh, so that's a good thing. I mean, uh, also give us uh, a, if you are aware, maybe I'm not, as you can see, I'm learning with you. So what would be some of those questions also? So people are aware, okay, this is a critical thinking kind of question. Oh, I didn't know that. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that you want to look at it in that way, as mm -hmm. in, you know, this is a critical thinking question, so I need to answer mm -hmm. it in this way or that way or mm -hmm. X way. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, I think to, to Nessa's point, um, Organizations incorporating this concept of critical thinking is uh, is something that is really going to benefit them. Now, um, I know that a lot of a lot of organizations, a lot of the large ones, are uh, definitely incorporating that um, when and they they are actually looking for that skill set um, mm -hmm. when they are selecting people for. And I think much of the reasons is what we we cover in the start is. Um, we live in a very complex world. There is um, just the sheer amount of information and data in various forms right. that is bombarding you every, every day, day. is is extremely overwhelming. And if you uh, you know, it is ex you know whatever whatever you I mean, and I'm not talking about just data on Facebook or mm -hmm. WhatsApp. Uh, or through your mobile phone, but uh, it it's it's just there's a complete torrent of information coming at you. Um, it, it, things are things can be monitored a lot faster. They sure. yeah, that information can get out uh, a lot quicker. Um, so it's not like the old days where you could maybe wait a few days or a few mm -hmm. hours mm -hmm. before you got to see results. In our world today that we live in, it's uh, almost instantaneous. Right, right. With that amount of information, okay, uh, with that amount of um, you know points of view out there floating around, mm -hmm. um, you have got to be able to make sense of that. 
So for an organization, you have got to, if, if you're going to get overwhelmed with those decisions and, uh, you know, you're, you're, going to, you're going to listen to someone uh, maybe, you know, screaming out on a video or maybe acting something out in front of you and, and uh, you're going to make a, a, a critical business decision based on, based on that, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's going to be really detrimental to yourself and the organization. Okay. So you have to pause. You have to be able to take in all of the data and take in all of the information as much as possible and make so it's not about it, it think about think of it as juggling balls i don't know that's the best analogy i could get maybe in the old days and, and till till maybe a few years ago you were juggling two or three balls now the amount of information that's coming through in all mm -hmm. sense you're probably mm -hmm. juggling five or six or seven yeah either you improve your skill at juggling those balls Otherwise, you're going to drop and you know make a mess of it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or you know you find some way to deal with it. Maybe you can keep a few of those balls down and juggle just three at a time, and uh, you know so there are various ways you can you can attack that so problem. Are, yeah, but no doubt, you have got to have that ability to, uh, and like I said earlier, that that capacity to, uh, and and also the tool set. You need a you need a. In a way, it's a it's a tool set that you have for your mind, right? Critical thinking and and the various disciplines that relate to it is mm -hmm. is something that you can you can learn. It's a cap it's a it's a it's a capability of sorts that you can build within yourself. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So it's it's not something that you know only a certain num uh, type of people uh, have access to, and uh, you know anyone can kind of learn that. Anyone can. Um, Mm -hmm. Can get better at that. Okay, so Sandeep is uh, Sandeep Dias, I, I, I believe, is mm -hmm. uh, one of your friends here, and he's writing in reflection yep. and knowledge may be key elements in critical thinking. What do people? What do people with limited knowledge do? Mm. Uh, I suppose so they think one. less. <laughs> I believe, or they critically <laughs> are not able to think as much. I mean, this is uh, this is what I believe. I mean, I don't know if, if there's something that you would like to comment on that. But uh, Sandeep, thanks for writing in, and I hope I've read the question correctly. Uh, Camelia says there's, a, there's intuition too. There is analytical thinking, but also connection with the person you are recruiting. There are no, there are not only rational decisions. Okay, thanks for that. Absolutely, you've and 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 that's you know that's what I was alluding earlier that you 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 have got to absorb it com you got to take the whole landscape into account mm -hmm. and you're absolutely right it's just it's just not only rational you have got to look at intuition as well but right. intuition mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. built from personal experience and environment yeah, that's uh, a very you've good got to remember that right. How so if you if you in? are you if if you are exposed to a certain combination uh, of environmental conditions and uh, you know and, and that's what really molds your intuition and your experience mm -hmm. someone else could be could be uh, could have completely different experiences you know growing up or career wise or whatever from a completely different environment and they will have very different intuitions right. uh, from from you and sometimes they could clash right. they could clash mm -hmm. and then there's nothing you can't explain that right because if uh, for example if if you and uh, not maybe okay, if so say me and or, or you and say someone else who's completely different from you, um, you know, are, are are thinking about a person. You may say, hey, you know what? I feel this per uh, this person's good for the organization, or I feel this person's a good guy, or he's he's uh, or she's a good girl. And mm -hmm. the other person uh, may may think that no, I I think this person's uh, not 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 a good fit, not, not right, fit. not the right, not right for the yeah. role. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and okay, then so how are you going to explain that? So then you'll start explaining, oh, you know, th this this happened and that happened, and I feel this way, and so on and so forth. But um, so it's mm -hmm. that's important. We, you know, you need to you need to understand that and take that into account as well. Okay. But you can't you can't make it you you can't make your decision uh, okay. on that. I would I would say you need you need you need to be uh, a little more rational, and and then you bring on uh, after you've looked at that, you you also take into account. Uh, your gut feel, um, and and but then you know, again, that's gut feel and intuition, Ashwin. Sorry for stopping you. I think so is the same thing, right? It's something that you get it from yeah. experience. Yeah, that's what I'm. Right? Yeah, same thing. Then the same question thing. comes up: How do you get rational thinking? How do you think rationally? Doesn't that also come through experience, through what you have gone through, what you believe is correct, or what you think is right? 
No, rationally, there's. I mean, it doesn't doesn't come from just belief. It, it, that's why I said it. You you can learn. You can learn the the, the disciplines of you know being rational. You okay. can uh, you can break it down into into smaller pieces, mm -hmm. and it's more it's more. You got to look at that. Uh, rational thinking and critical thinking in a way of uh, uh, a capability that you can build. Okay. You know, so I can't is, build. I can't build a capability. I mean, mm -hmm. to build a capability for for intuition and gut feel, uh, it's it's in a way very limited. I mean, uh, I I don't have the same environment. I need to throw myself in that same environment, and um, and that's why you know if I if I if I want to use my gut feel and intuition. Uh, really well. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time, you know, I, I I need to be someone who's there in an industry and uh, you know, seen that or been through that for many, 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 many years. Um, well, as if you're just talking about building your ability to critical think, um, there are certain uh, disciplines and subjects that you could you could look at. You could you could look at focus on uh, you know rational thinking. A lot of these subjects, by the way, yeah. uh, we did in school. Okay. Oh, so okay. Um, a, a lot of these things we covered in school and 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 college. It's not like uh, you need an advanced degree mm -hmm. in understanding these things. And and in in today's day and age, it's 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 easily available. It's you know no one can say that hey I don't have that level of information or access to the information. It's all there. Okay. So, so, so you remember we we mm -hmm. we studied. Uh, let's pick our topic like uh, we studied statistics in school, right? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Remember you remember we had statistics in school? Statistics, you remember we okay. had, a, yeah. besides mathematics, I think specifically for the guys in the 96 batch, right? We had that math don't one, math two. Don't ask me which year. Don't ask me which teacher. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and don't but ask anyway, me any no, no. questions on that. Yeah. How to solve it. I mean. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so basic statistics, <laughs> a basic, a, a basic understanding of statistics and data analysis is something you learned in school. Now, agreed. Like me, uh, you know, maybe we didn't pay attention to it a lot, mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, but that's not that's not an excuse, right? So you learn it at some point in time. Um, I didn't I didn't learn all of these things in school. Uh, a few of the things I picked up, but a right. few of the things I kind of picked up later on. And uh, you need to make a conscious effort of uh, of learning that. Okay, so you say so, that we um, learned critical yeah. thinking and and uh, how is the rational thinking in school? Like through what? Maybe I like to refresh my mind. I'm trying to remember which subject was that. There is no subject. There is no subject. There, there, there is unfortunately no subject of critical thinking. Right, exactly. And you know what? So then, that mm -hmm. that really highlights the need uh, of of having these kind of subjects in our school curriculum, right? And exactly. So because you mentioned, I think now I've got another topic, right? This. Yeah. So, <laughs> so let's not go there. But you mentioned that I, I thought I heard you saying that uh, this is something that we did in school. So I was just thinking, okay, did we do rational thinking or? Oh, did you not study? Did you not study statistics? Hey, going back to numbers. You remember? You remember <laughs> average? You remember average mean? You did that, right? Yes, average course, mean, all that. Stuff. Great. Okay. Course, yeah. did, uh, so you did that. Did you not? Did you not learn science? You learned the you learned the basic concept of scientific method. You remember you you did experiments, which you would just do it because you had to get it done, right? Yeah, like going to the lab and the physics lab Correct. and the chemistry bio lab and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. and the teachers like, and few of the teachers didn't help either, right? So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so but but uh, actually in reality you have got to accept the fact that you did go through that and mm -hmm. um, had you probably. Um, uh, you know, paid attention and learned that properly. That would have, you know, helped your uh, helped the scientific method. You would have learned, mm -hmm. you would have learned data analysis. You would have learned. Uh, I think we also had a topic on specific subject, or not subject, but a specific topic okay. on logic. Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. Yeah, I, um, you know, Doug, Dougie's an expert of logic, okay, so and uh, we, 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 we will get Douglas <laughs> logical, and logical, uh, you yeah. know, electronics and stuff like that. But anyway, yeah. I'm saying that mm -hmm. it, it's it's there. It's there. Okay. Uh, so Ashwin, uh, just to let people know, so if you guys are still hanging on with us and Ashwin over here, write in those questions to us. Probably we will not be able to answer all of them, but I, Ashwin will definitely go through the questions and get back to you later uh, on that. So I don't think so that should be a problem. So Sandeep is continuing here and saying, but isn't there something like analysis paralysis? When do you know when to stop or know if your understanding is correct? Okay, so that's a very good question again. I. Ashwin, if you want to say something to that, or I can continue oh, yeah. some more comments. We have a lot of comments, by the way. This yeah? is a, we have yeah, a lot analysis of comments. Yeah. Analysis paralysis is a huge problem. People mm -hmm. just go on because there's so much of data 
uh, they just go on churning that inside out and slicing and dicing it and mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and they you know sometimes uh, will just go on and do it again and again and again so uh, you you see that is that this is where i think a good example of where experience and intuition would 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 help you a little bit in figuring out you know uh, do I need further analysis? First of all, have I have I got the answers that I'm that I'm looking for? Have, have, am I asking mm -hmm. the right questions? So it just becomes very personal. There. I think so. Does it individualistic, right? I mean, if you are satisfied, then you have got then you're satisfied. If you are not satisfied, then you don't have the answer. So I, I think so. It's very personal. For that no, matter. I mean, it, I, I need to ask the right question. Uh, so I need to frame a question, which is another skill. How do I frame the right question for problems? I mean, uh, I think, uh, you know, all people over here who solve some complex problems, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you break it down into sometimes into smaller bits uh, if it gets too complex. And then you've got to ask the right question. And that's also something that you do in the scientific method. Mm -hmm. If you don't ask the right question, you could probably go down uh, a completely wrong path. And, and, and analysis paralysis analysis could be uh, you know one of the the outcomes that that you may get which is very very unpleasant um, so you have you have you have got to got to get some perspective and mm -hmm. and and uh, understand uh, you know when when to stop and to stop. Right. sometimes it just gets mm -hmm. too much okay. and i think okay. a lot of depending on the question and and the the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think uh, if you have a basic idea and grasp of the topic, then uh, you you will get a fair idea of when to do that. Okay. But I think uh, another uh, a, a way to also check for that is the uh, and and this is something that that I like to use. Um, you know, if you if you've done all this analysis and you gather all the data that you that that you possibly you you feel you want to use and mm -hmm. uh, you made a lot of deliberation with it and you come to a rather boring conclusion, right? Okay. As opposed to some sensational thing, mm -hmm. or or your pet bias that you had when you started the the analysis in the first place. You know that could be clouding your judgment as well. You could you could have a certain bias that you want to see a certain result, and then well, lo and behold, uh, you will you will analyze and look and see the numbers in a certain way. Mm -hmm. So. Um, uh, if it if it's usually comes out if that is if, if that conclusion is boring, uh, you know it's it's probably the truth. Now now that's a, that is a that is a heuristic that I use. Okay. If the it conclusion may not, is boring, it's probably not. It's it's the right one. If, is that what it is? If you've done if you've done strenuous data gathering, and okay. again I must say this is not a rule or a law. This is a heuristic. This is a mm -hmm. this is a mm -hmm. thing that I personally use. Mm -hmm. uh, so so it has to do a lot with my biases. Right. Okay. So if you got the same biases as me, then it'll work for you. <laughs> but otherwise, it may not work. But you yeah, you you can probably. you can probably still learn. You can still learn from from what I'm saying here. Is that so? I, I'll say that again. Yeah. So if I have done strenuous data gathering and and a lot of deliberation about uh, you know uh, the issue at hand, mm -hmm. um, I've, I've taken everything into account. Um, and after you know so-called racking my brain. Mm -hmm. I come to a very bo boring conclusion. Okay. Okay. About and I and I come to a very a very boring uh, final decision mm -hmm. uh, about what it is, and I don't like that conclusion because uh, I'm looking for something sensational. I'm looking for some one-off thing. I'm looking because as humans, and maybe that's my bias, right? You're looking for something exciting. So probably you're trying but to look most, for an answer most most yeah. So mm -hmm. in in uh, in other ways, uh, you know, a corollary would be. Um, most of the time, the truth is boring. Okay. Okay. It is not sensational. It is not super exciting mm -hmm. most mm -hmm. of the time. I see. Okay. It is. It it is usually it is usually very boring, and uh, and that's that's obviously the uh, so the when when you if if you feel you've done everything really well and you get to that uh, and mm -hmm. it's not you know, that's pro it's probably the truth. Yeah, but even just to think about to get there first, you have to have the interest to do that journey of finding out and getting all that information just to realize of the course. answer that you have is boring or not. But I suppose it's the journey, as we say. It is. So you you go, you got to have interest. If you don't have interest, like I said, you don't have interest. What what are you critically thinking about? Yeah. I mean, what exactly are you going to think about if you um, if you 
don't uh, so there are you don't you don't critically think about every single topic mm -hmm, okay mm -hmm. uh, so maybe i could give you a guideline there right there there are three three things that when do you use critical thinking okay so Ashwin, before number you one continue sorry before hmm? you uh, uh, before you just continue i want to tell you that we have uh, i mean for the call i will i will give it another 5 to 7 minutes since i need to go on another call so we are going to call mm -hmm. we are going to cut the we are going to cut the thing a little short usually i i would just love continuing with you but uh, uh, i i have another call in at, at 8 so we will cut the call we will cut the live in another 5 7 minutes yeah just that uh, you have an idea and for the people sure. that are, okay so i'll continue i'll sum up the thing a little later uh, go on as you are on the topic that you are saying please yeah so um so anyway i think each of these things can be dissected a lot but i think in the interest of time i don't know let me just probably try and share a few things um you know maybe that would be helpful uh to mm -hmm. people uh so um uh, i found most of the time there are probably three reasons when you'd want to use critical thinking um, you can't every time open every single thing in the paper and, and you, you, you can't go deep with analysis with everything right? because everything is not important, right? So with the kind uh, of information we have yeah. today, how much will you go with every topic? That's also true. What, uh, what uh, Amita Bachchan ate for his breakfast or Kim Kardashian uh, had for dinner, you know, maybe well, <laughs> you even, don't need to think about that too even, much, right? Even the but, current uh, topic of some act, uh, Shushant, <laughs> right, who, who killed himself, uh, unfortunately, or he's saying it's a suicide, that's a, someone's saying so it's not a suicide, a, so again, there yeah. you go, another one. So it depends on what so topic now, is important, right? Now that's an mm. that 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 is an important thing for uh, you know for for people right for mm -hmm. certain people right um, and I'll be very honest with you I am I am I am not very interested in in show business and and Hollywood or Bollywood uh, every I think most of my friends know that mm -hmm. so it's it's uh, it's not something that I've been following quite a bit but I know a lot of my friends are very concerned about it and uh, um, and and so in that sense it's important so now look at it this way right there's a huge fight going on. I've, from what I understand, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, so you have these these probably you know the left and the right or side A and side B or whatever you want to call it. Maybe there's a third front as well. I don't know, but uh, if you are going to form an opinion about someone, okay, uh, in so say in okay. case of Sushant, if if it's if you're going to if you're going to form some opinion about certain act actors and uh, and there's another uh, bunch of actors on in another group and you're trying to fo you're going to form an opinion and and that opinion you feel really matters to you then i would suggest that uh, you know it would be it would really help if you really go down that road of critical thinking and mm -hmm. try to try to understand a lot more facts try to understand uh, a lot more about it right mm -hmm. so one mm -hmm. is when you're about to form an opinion so ask yourself am i about to form an opinion about someone something uh, and if if yes, and that uh, that's a strong opinion, then uh, or something that matters, then you want to use critical thinking. Okay. Second is, mm -hmm. uh, will this decision um, impact me significantly, right? Right. Uh, and third is, uh, do I need to make this decision that impacts others, which is equally important. Sometimes, uh, and, and this, for example, if you're a leader or you're a minister, mm -hmm. you've got to make a lot of decisions that mostly sometimes impact others and not yourself. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's true. So, so uh, a lot of things that somebody, yeah. some people need to take care of, and while others have the choice to think about which topics are important to them. In those three cases, you wanna you wanna use you wanna use critical thinking. Right. Okay. And. Um, yeah. You know, one uh, very um, so yeah, that that's that, that's what it is, and um, I think when when uh, and this is probably I'm, I'm maybe oversimplifying it a little bit, but I think you can break down all sorts of arguments into into sort of you know dis discrete viewpoints, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and you will always have your pet viewpoints. Usually, it's always you know uh, it's an A versus B thing, right? Sometimes there's a third component in it. Okay. But uh, uh, what if, if if you want to say that you truly understand a topic, I mean, a good a good test of that is um, number one: Am I able to describe the cons or the downsides of my point of view? 
Oh, fantastic. So you're also trying okay. to look at the negative side of the choices that you have made and think in your thinking. Yeah, for example, if you're saying rich people should be taxed and you strongly believe that or let's let me rephrase that rich, rich people should be taxed exorbitantly. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the view. That's your point that you, you really feel about. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got to ask yourself, can I can I find the negatives of that or the cons of it or a downside to that point of view? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I need to be able to do that. I need to be able to list down a few uh, downsides of it. Okay? okay. If I can do that, then it's a way of testing myself that I'm not kind of letting some, um, you, uh, you know, I'm not not getting carried away by a certain thought just because of my feelings or or maybe uh, the the way I look at things. So in another way, you know, if if someone who we really look up to tells us something. Uh, we tend to just take it as yeah. as, mm -hmm. as the truth, right? Uh, and sure. and we we put a lot more weightage than 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 is that normally supposed to do. When if you're if you're really looking up to someone and that person gives you information, In, and the opposite is true as well. If you despise someone and that someone tells you something, you will you know treat it with a pinch of salt. Okay. But there could be critical information in there. So one way to balance that out is always ask yourself. So. Pick your favorite side or your pet view and challenges. try to figure out challenges. Try to figure out Absolutely. reasons, uh, possible downsides to that to that particular viewpoint or negatives to that. Okay, that's one. And the second thing you got to do is um, try your level best and try to see if you can fight for the opposing view. Okay, now this requires. I mean, tremendous control of emotions. Um, can you mention that last so, point again? Yeah. Try to see if you can put up a good fight for the opposing view. So think of yourself in a debate. Okay. And and you uh, are not on the side that you want to debate for. Mm -hmm. You're on the other on side. The so side, same right. example. Should the rich be taxed exorbitantly? Mm -hmm. There's either a yes or a no. Mm -hmm. So maybe you agree with it. So if you agree with it and you strongly believe that the rich should be taxed at an, exorb at an exorbitant level mm -hmm. uh, and the opposing view is no, they shouldn't, uh, try and learn as much and, and, and try and see if you can fight for that side. Think of yourself on a debate. What are the points that you would bring up if you were debating mm -hmm. for that side? And I think this again highlights uh, 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 an important thing. An easy way that you actually learn this is when you debate, right? Um, and, and if you're forced to do that, and if you can force yourself to do these things, uh, and if you do it well, uh, you most likely have uh, a good, good grasp uh, of, or, or as much as 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 possibly it can be, but you know for sure that you're not you're not allowing your biases, your personal biases, or peer pressure, or some other kind of uh, you know external external forces maybe to cloud your judgment, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So um, I think those are the two tests uh, that that you probably do. So if if you're mm -hmm. talking about a topic and there are opposing views about that topic, and you have one viewpoint mm -hmm. or the other viewpoint. You know, so number one, make sure you know the downsides of your viewpoint. Make sure you can also fight for the opposing viewpoint, and and I think that's a good indication that you really truly understand the scenario and you understand the situation. Okay. So um, yeah, that's a that's another tip. Okay, Ashwin, uh, absolutely amazing. I I I I really feel bad because I'm I'm not able or we are not able to even touch all the points that we had decided on. Uh, from the, the event point of view about um, uh, learning and, and teaching someone critical thinking. Uh, but at this point, I would just want to thank, uh, thank, thank you, buddy, for like, coming on and, and doing this broadcast. Um, it was, I really had a great time, and I'm hoping the others here also did, because I see there were a lot of comments that came in, and I want to thank Camelia, Simone, uh, Sandeep, uh, Ness, uh, Wayne, Nihal, uh, and uh, amazing. I I'm really glad that, that you guys came in and asked your questions. I've not even finished with all of them. So probably, Ashwin, uh, once the live is done, you can go through the questions, you can have a look, and uh, we can kind of decide mm -hmm. what we want to do with this topic because it's so vast, as we spoke yeah, about fact, it before. 
right? So we need to. <laughs> I want to kind of I think, see I what think, to do. I think I have. No, no. I, I think everyone's listening in, right? Uh, let us know, guys. Um, you know, if if you okay. if you'd like to hear more about this topic, if you mm -hmm. uh, you know want to get really technical about it, if you want to, maybe there are some other great topics that we can really talk about. So uh, they, again, it's an it's an interest based okay. thing, right? So yeah. um, so let us so know. Good, you, and yeah. let us know. Mm -hmm. Let us know, as Ashwin is saying, if you want us to continue with this topic, if there's any, um, how, a main, not mainstream, but like uh, a subdivision or subtopic of critical thinking that you would like to touch up upon, or would there be another topic that you would like Ashwin to talk about and that would really gain your interest? So write it, us, write it in to us from the, from the live broadcast chat, sorry about that, uh, or you can write to Ashwin directly. And uh, and we'll keep in yep. touch. So Ashen, what I will do is uh, I will get in touch with you probably maybe even today evening if you have the time, or we'll catch up tomorrow and we'll we'll take this further. But thank you so much for coming in. I had a great, great sure. broadcast. Sounds good. Thanks, uh, thanks everyone for joining in, and uh, thanks, thank you, Yaron. And uh, I think this was fantastic. My uh, my first one ever. So uh, <laughs> I'm very glad, man. This is I, great. I had a lot of fun. Me I had too. a lot of fun, and I, and I hope the I hope the people didn't get really bored with this because I think we can get uh, I can we can get very bored sometimes well, with our topics, and we stretch it like beyond uh, uh, you know the interests of of most people. Absolutely, but, but we can always yeah, learn from that and know. see uh, and see how we oh, can yeah. make it better, right? So, oh, yeah. Ashwin, on that thought, uh, thanks a lot again, and uh, have a great evening, and we'll talk soon, okay? You're welcome. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a great evening, everybody. Take care, and we'll catch you soon on another broadcast. Till then, have a great evening. Bye.